Okay. So if, if you, do you have any other tips on like what, what I should start on? I'm just completely just going to be following your program. Like starting from the, uh, I'm going to, I'm just thinking that, you know, everything's fresh and I'm just going to start all new while I'm continuing all my referrals. Just Hey, what's up, buddy? It's Ricky Carruth. Hey, how, how you doing? Good, man. Are you busy? Uh, no, I'm okay right now. I was waiting for your call. Yeah, cool, man. So, uh, yeah, I just did the podcast, and now I'm working on some videos at the house, and uh, thought I'd give you a shout. Um, do appreciate you, you know, doing the three, two, one club. You know, um, turning post notifications on and and all that stuff. So I'm trying to like, I want the three, two, one club to be to like spread awareness that to have no fear and just to go for it. You know, and at the same time, be a way that I can like um, have calls like this with people that are following me, so I can you know get to know you better and just find out kind of where you are and what I can help you with. Uh-huh. Totally makes sense. Yeah, man. So, so what you got, man? Like, what what can I help you with? So, uh, if I just give you a little background. So, I've been in real estate. Uh, once it hits April, it'll be my second year. So I'll be completing my second year. My first year was a little bit tough. I was always full-time. Uh, I closed no transactions, and then I totally always believed in the whole coaching system. Yeah. Because uh, on my second year, I joined Tom Ferry Coaching. I'm still part of Tom Ferry Coaching. Um, I was supposed to have a coaching call, but the coach didn't even show up. So I, <laughs> That's weird. That's what I was looking for the whole time. And uh, that's just kind of the stuff I was. And then from once I signed up for coaching, I from there I was closing just about one one transaction every month, uh-huh. which is not, not too bad for kind of like a starter. And then so now I'm just trying to take, I'm just trying to implement some stuff where, you know, I always believe in the whole relationship over over chat and the yeah. exact thing that you're teaching. So I was so happy to find somebody like you that believes in the same thing. But Tom Ferry is still kind of more like, hey, that transaction is important. Go, go, go for the appointment. Go, go, go. You know, even when I'm co calling. So, you know, those are the kind of mindset that I, I'm coming from. And I'm, I'm just really happy that I was able to uh, discuss any, something like this. You know? No, for real, dude. Listen, man, here's the problem. Everybody's being trained and and they're like judging their entire real estate business on how many transactions, how many appointments, how many closings, how many listings. And you know, that's where the results are, that's where the money is. If you're not closing deals, you're not making any money and you're not paying your bills. But I'm telling you, it's just the wrong way to look at it, you know? Uh, I struggled with it for years. And when I figured it out, I was like, man, this is just so crazy because it's so simple, but very few people realize it, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like, I have to start spreading this out there so that I can bring awareness to the fact that it's not about the appointments. Because just about everybody I talk to says, you know, my goal is one appointment a day or, you know, three closings a month or, you know, like that's the goal. And I can't even judge a business based on how many listings you have or appointments you're setting. That doesn't really mean anything to me. What means something to me is, is are you connecting with those people and do you make them feel comfortable with you? Yeah. That's the bottom line to me, you know? So, yeah. That's what I'm trying to teach people is how to communicate who they actually are as a person, uh-huh. you know, with their clients, you know? Yeah, I totally, I totally understand that. So, uh, when, when, I, when I was like, oh, I, today actually I was logged into the Zero to Diamond and I was looking at the whole 90 day jumpstart and I was studying the scripts and all that good stuff. Um, actually, um, so I'm actually going to be signing up for Constant Contact and then I, I wanted to get your input about possibly Bomb Bomb because I know that video is kind of taking over uh, the new whole photo stuff. So uh, do you have any input about Bomb Bomb maybe doing photo emails or, or, or video emails or anything like that? 
Um, you know, I mean, I don't use it because it's new, you know, and, um, you know, I need, I need to try it out, but I think it's great. You know, I really do. I think bomb bomb is awesome. Like, I think you should do it. I think you should use it. I think you should do videos. I think you, you know what I mean? I think you should do the whole nine yards, man, with bomb bomb. I think it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, up till now, like everything was just based off of referral and then me cold calling and then from there, just kind of building the relationship with them. And then uh, even my loan agents now send me referrals. So that's just how my business has been taking. I didn't start any farming. I didn't do anything like that. So uh, that's why when I logged into the Zero Diamond today, I was like, okay, today I'm uh, starting, tom very, starting very tomorrow. I'm going to contact my title rep. We're going to uh, get a farming area and I'm going to start prospecting over there, doing some circle prospecting. So uh, that, was, that was real cool for me. Awesome, man. Yeah, so if, if you, uh, do you have any other tips on like what, what I should start on? I'm just completely just going to be following your program, like starting from the, uh, I'm going to, I'm just thinking that, you know, everything's fresh and I'm just going to start all new while I'm continuing all my referral systems. Take all, take everybody that you've ever talked to, get their email address, send them a weekly email every week on the same day forever. That's the biggest thing for me. And use okay. use use bomb bomb. Bomb bomb will do that and you can send them video emails with market information links. Like you can do like a video can be embedded in the email. I've seen them. And then you can have links of market information in there with it. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I will go ahead and do that. So, uh, so you don't you don't use like an actual CRM to put in their name like first name, last name, email, phone number. No, I don't. Uh, okay, so you just only have like, you just use your constant contact just to put their email in there. Yeah, I just put their email there and then they get the email from there and then I have them programmed in my phone, you know? Uh -huh. And so I really don't have like a system like to, you know, it, it's all, I, I take notes on notebooks. Okay. And I just follow up with people who are ready to do stuff, and then I let everybody else call me when they get ready. You know, I don't spend a whole lot of time trying to organize and follow up and stuff like that um, as much as I do just try to service the clients in front of me and then provide value to everyone else, provide so much value that they call me when they're ready, you know, and they know that when they call me, I'm going to go over the top, you know, to help them. So see, that's what I really like. Because I, I feel like every day I'm always trying to find my next business, you know. Uh, every day I'm just trying to prospect, like, okay, what if I close my current escrow? Where's my next business going to come from? So that was, like, the hardest question that I still haven't really got answered. But this, uh, doing what? this email. What's doing the question? Email. What's the question? The question is, where is my next business going to come from? You know, that's my, I think that's my biggest question. Uh -huh. You know, and then so it's like uh, every day I am actually prospecting every single day trying to, trying to find where the next business is going to come from. And, uh, well, for me, I didn't have a database. I wasn't emailing anybody. You know, I was just hoping, pretty much praying, saying that somebody's going to send me a referral. I mean, it's been working out, I mean, great for the past year, but now it's, I'm now trying to take a different step. Listen, man, it shouldn't be about where's my next deal coming from, right? Mm -hmm. It should be how am I going to make a hundred more property owners in my area feel comfortable with me? Okay. See, 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 closings are happening every day. Uh huh. So you don't have to figure. You don't have to try to figure out where your next deal's coming from. Deals are happening. Right? So, so quit worrying about deals because in your MLS, there's closings happening every day. Yeah. Okay, so quit worrying about the deal, right? So what you have to do is, is if you're contacting the amount of people you're supposed to be contacting and making them all feel warm and fuzzy, comfortable with you, liking you, you're professional, you're on time, you're dependable, you're knowledgeable, you're going to run into some of these people who are buying and selling right now, right? Uh -huh. So you're going to run into those people accidentally because you're trying to build long-term business. Okay. So
So, so you build long and short-term business at the same time, but if you approach it like, where's my next deal coming from? They can sense that on you, that you're just trying to get another deal. Right, and you're gonna lose them, and you're not even gonna realize it because they're not gonna say, "Hey, you sound like you're trying to do a deal. I don't want to do a deal with you." They're just gonna say, "Yeah, we'll think about it," and then never call you back. But you don't you don't realize that it was that little bit of insecurity and lack of confidence in what you're really trying to do because you you had the deal in, in the back of your mind instead of the relationship long term, and you're gonna lose that client. It's a mind. It's a it's a mind shift. Okay. Yeah, that that definitely does uh, shift my mind. Um, yeah. Um, and on on so uh, I on the ninety day jump start, uh, it says to like pick a farm. Do you, is there any samples of postcards that you sent to clients? It's nothing fancy, man. It's a picture of the entryway of their subdivision or a house you listed or you know an overhead shot of the area or or whatever. And say something like, you know, you know, um, if you need anything, give me a call. You know, here's my contact information. Uh, you know, thinking of buying or selling. You know, um, you know, you know, transactions are up. Prices. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Like it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You just go to okay. Vista Print or Express Copy, design a postcard. You know, there's plenty of templates. Make one you okay. think looks good and go. Okay. Doesn't have to be anything special. There's nothing, I don't do anything fancy that makes, you know why postcards work? Because you follow up with it? No, because you sent one every single month for three years or five years, or two years, or 10 years, right? Like that's why postcards work, it's not what's on the postcard. Like, like they're throwing the postcards away as soon as they get them. But if they get your postcard consistently over time, then two years later when, they, when they're thinking they might sell, they're gonna notice that you're that same guy that's been sending them postcards and they're gonna keep that one. When they start thinking about it, they're gonna get it and they're gonna, they're gonna hang on to it and say, I'm gonna call this guy. You know? Okay. It's, it, it's the consistency over time that wins in the postcard world, not what's on the postcard. or is it like the same exact one for three years straight? It's a different postcard every time. Okay, different postcard. So kind of like, so you, you just you take your time uh, putting your information for your email and kind of, and also your postcard design per month and your emails per week. Yeah, I take my, yeah, I take my time and, and build them out. Is that what you mean? Yeah, that's, that's basically what I meant. Like, so yeah. you take your time, and, you know, put some personal touches in your yeah. postcard email. Oh yeah, like like express copy on the back of it. It has a place where I could write like a paragraph, like it's a big postcard, and I can write uh -huh. like a, a client success story or whatever's on my mind or something about the market, and I can literally write like a 20 word deal back there, you know, or something. So just look at the different templates that. Uh, that there is to offer out there and then just look through the templates and get ideas of what you want to do you know okay yeah but don't but don't waste a lot of time thinking about what you're gonna put on a postcard make a postcard and send it Okay. like they're gonna throw it away okay okay yeah that, that gives me a lot of uh, breath of fresh air and it, it makes me put, put myself in a different mindset I love it thank you so much for everything no doubt, man. No, I appreciate you following me on Instagram and doing the three, two, one. Um, that's something that's going to be big as I grow my as I grow my my personal brand. Um, you know, and dude, like the coaching for free. What do you think about that? That's, that's amazing because I was actually just remember. I, I don't know if you remember, but I even Facebook messaged you saying that my Tom Ferry coaching is going to be ending in um, yeah April. yeah and then. And then I was like, I'm going to jump on to you right away. And then man, a few days after that, uh, you, you released your coaching for free. I was like, oh, this is amazing. This is like a speak of, speak of word of God, you know? Right. <laughs> yeah, you speaking to me. So 
was just there. It was amazing. And then so from there, I was like, like I need to get everything together. And then um, so I'm, I dropped basically all of my online leads. You know, I just kept the ones that are important. I'm now I'm budgeting all of my marketing expenses, and I'm starting your program. So I, I'll be sending you all these success stories and uh, my relationship. With my client. Absolutely, man. Yeah, uh, send me whatever. But if you got if you got something, post it in the Zero to Diamond group on Facebook for all the all the agents to see because it just motivates people, you know. Yeah. You know, I get I get like three or four emails a day from people saying I'm getting listings from from you know, thank you so much. I'm getting listings. I close this deal. I close that deal. You know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't have time to post them or do anything with them. Really, you know, I'm just like emailing back saying. You know, you're so welcome. Keep crushing it. Keep going. Keep grinding. Mm -hmm. But if you get a success story of some sort or a breakthrough, post it in the group. Post something about this call on the group. Say I spent yeah. 30 minutes with Ricky for nothing and he changed my whole world or whatever, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I man. Will. Dude, and look, man, just if there's anything I can do for you, just reach out. This is my cell phone okay. number. Okay, sounds great. I have, to, I have one last question. Yeah. For you. Yeah. So, for me, what what is your uh, what day? What time do you wake up in the morning? So I've always had this tough time of kind of choosing my time to wake up in the morning, right? So I've tried seven. I've tried the five a.m. club. I've tried all kinds of things, but it's just never very consistent for me. Uh, so I don't know if there was something that you can possibly give me a tip about, or you know. Um. I wake up at uh, six o'clock every day. Six o'clock every day. I set okay. my alarm for five thirty, mm -hmm. and then sometimes I'll get up at five thirty, sometimes five forty-five, sometimes six o'clock. It just depends on if I'm like waking up ready, mm -hmm. or if I wake up and I still need some time. So, but six okay. o'clock's good for me because I hit the gym at seven. Okay. Right now I don't have kids and stuff. Right. Okay. So like family dynamics change change stuff but um you know um when i have a family i'll change my dynamics and i'll do i'll do it differently but right now i uh right now i i get up at six i'm at the gym at seven and then okay. i'm out of there by eight i'm in the office by nine and i'm crushing it from there okay yeah, so I sit down when I get to the office and I make notes on my business. What's important, what's not, what I need to focus on. I go through my all my emails, all my text messages, and I, I, I make a list of everything that's most important and even stuff that's not important. I make a list of everything going on. Then I turn around and have a meeting with my assistant and make sure she knows everything she needs to do to, to help us accomplish all the goals we need to accomplish. Okay. for the day and then she gets busy on that and I get busy crushing everything on that list perfect 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 yeah I mean, um, I'll go ahead I definitely wanted to start going to the gym in the morning so I can get the energy for, uh, for the rest of the day yeah and you know uh, and you, and that that's a big thing too because like when you work out in the morning you get oxygen to your brain and like you just function better for the rest of the day right yeah so so that's a big thing um but yeah, yeah, getting up early, making it happen, starting out, you know, crushing everything you see. Um, seems like I had something else I was going to say right there, but I forgot. <laughs> no worry. No worry. Yeah, so, yeah, thank you so much for everything, man. I, 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 I honestly watch your YouTube videos every morning because I have yeah. a 20 minute drive to my office. Yeah. It's kind of perfect to watch your YouTube video. Like, it's very motivating. Awesome, dude. Yeah, I've been posting them at like 6 o'clock, 6.30. Um, well, even earlier for you. Mm -hmm. Shoot, that's yeah, like... Four, for me. So like I, 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 I turn it on in my car and I just listen to it while I drive. It's, it's been amazing. Awesome, dude. Awesome. I'm glad, man. I'm glad, dude. It's people like you that's keeping me going with this thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I totally understand. Cool. Anything else, bro? No, that'll be it. That's, I mean, I got a lot of information now, and I just need to go ahead and execute everything, you know? So you'll you'll be seeing a lot more posts on Facebook from me. Yeah. Uh, implementing your system. And if anybody else has questions, I'm more than happy to help them out. So you're in California? I am. Okay, tight, tight. All right, well, yeah. 
I'll be out that way at some point, you know, in the future. I don't know when, but you'll definitely know because I'll post it everywhere. So definitely okay. come, definitely come see me when I come out. Oh, I will. I will. Sounds good, bro. All right. Thank you so much. Later, man. All right. Bye-bye. So that was a uh, a guy that did the three two one club. Three two one club for you guys that don't know is uh, just an Instagram thing. Every time I post on Instagram, um, comment hashtag three two one club, and I pick winners all the time. And I have calls like this where we can go deep inside their business. They can pick my brain, whatever they want to do. So I think it's a really cool way for for me to connect with some of the people that's been following me and um, you know it's just a way to to really connect and to go a little deeper with everything I'm trying to do and just continue building those relationships so if you're not following me on Instagram it's at Ricky Carruth turn the post notifications on and every time I post something immediately go there like it and comment with the hashtag 321 club 321 club means have no fear Whenever something scares you, say three, two, one, and then just do it. So um, I'll talk to you guys soon.